Hey, in this screencast, you're going to learn how to create grids through defining its rows and columns. A grid consists of two main elements. There's the container, which we have here, and then there's the items, which are the elements inside the container. In our case, six divs, which display the numbers from one to six. Now, without any grid layout, this results in six divs stacked on top of each other. I've also given them a little bit of styling, but that has nothing to do with the grid layout itself. To turn this container into a grid, we're going to target it and give it a display of grid. If we run the code, that won't result in any layout change yet because we haven't defined how we want our grid to look like. So by default, it only has one column and thereby it looks like we've just stacked six divs on top of each other. In order to specify the columns, we'll give the container a grid template columns will define how many columns and how wide we want them to be. Let's set the first one to a hundred pixels, the second one to auto, and the third one to hundred pixels as well. Auto in this case means that the column will take up whatever remaining space there is in the width. Let's also give the grid a couple of rows, grid template rows, and let's give both of them a height of 50 pixels. So in the grid template, columns property, you define the width of the columns, and in the grid template rows, you define the height of the rows. And as you can see, we have a nice little grid here. As expected, it contains three columns going from top to bottom, one, two, three, and two rows going from left to right, one, two. Since the second column here is set to auto, this grid is also responsive. In order to make the grid look a little bit nicer, I want to give it a grid gap property and set it to three pixels. As you can see, that gives a nice little gap between the items. Now, let's say we don't want our grid to be three columns wide and two rows long, but rather two columns wide and three rows long. Then we simply need to remove a column. We can remove this last one here, for example, and add a row, 200 pixels down here. If we run the code, you can see that we have a completely different grid. Two columns, one, two, and three rows. One, two, three. The two first rows are 50 pixels tall, however, the third one is 200 pixels. And the grid is still responsive as the second column is set to auto. So in the next screencast, I'm going to show you a few more ways of setting these values inside the grid template columns and grid template rows. But before we jump on to do that, I would recommend you to jump into the code here and play around with the values so that you're 100% sure that you understand the relation between what's going on here in the CSS and how that plays out in the simulator over here. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you in the next screencast.